Hey everybody, it is I, the Chubby Gourmet, chubbier than ever. And today we are going to make tacos. Delicious, incredible, classic Mexican dish. However, we're not gonna be a classical Mexican dish today. We're gonna to use a different meat than ground beef. We are using, wait for it, ground zebra meat. Yes, I kid you not. I'm gonna show you how to prepare that ground zebra meat because uh, warning, it is a very gamey tasting meat. So I'll show you how to tame the gaminess and we'll make some delicious tacos. And that is what we have for today. So if you like what you see, please remember to like, subscribe and comment. I love to hear from people. Tell me what you think, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, say hi, whatever. We'd we'll love to hear from you. And don't forget to click the little bell so that you get notified whenever we get a video published. Okay, first things first, as I mentioned earlier, zebra is an extremely gamey flavored meat. But what is a zebra actually? Well, a zebra is essentially a horse. Now, most people in America would take that as a very shocking statement. But the truth of the matter is that donkey, horse are eaten in various parts of the world. For example, in Shandong province in northern China, the capital city of Jinan, is known for a particular dish that is made from donkey. The donkeys are raised in that province, specifically uh, like cattle or other livestock are raised here. And actually in our case, the same with the zebra. These zebra are raised for food in the state of Washington in upper Pacific Northwest. Washington state, they raise zebra and believe it or not, zebras are actually aggressive animals. It's not like you can have other animals around them. I know we're all familiar with the National Ge Geographic specials where you see a lion or a tiger, you know, tracking down and, and killing a zebra. But zebras, well, they're not lions or tigers, but they are certainly aggressive creatures. You can't have other animals around them. If you're gonna raise them, that's what you're raising and they stay isolated and that's that. So without further ado, we have our ground zebra meat. And what we're going to do is apply four different seasonings to this. No more than a half teaspoon. I mean, we don't have to be exact with this, but the first one is ground mustard seed. So we're gonna put some of the mustard in. And this combination is not just useful for zebra, but any kind of meat that's got a very gamey flavor, like antelope is much more gamier than venison. You would also consider this mix with that meat as well. And then we've got the ground rosemary. Again, no more than about a half a teaspoon. And then we've got our onion powder. And last but not least, our garlic powder. We're gonna mix that up with the meat very well. And we're gonna take this, put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. You don't need to have it for more than that. We're just gonna let it sit there. And there's our ground zebra with our four spices mixed up. And you can still smell, over the zebra smell, you can smell all the spices too. This will take it down a few notches, but still leave the flavor. It'll essentially be like a horse or donkey meat at that point, without that excessive gaminess that zebra tends to have. Well, it's been about a half hour, and I mean that quite literally. Now we're gonna saute brown the uh, zebra meat. This has been sitting with the rosemary, garlic, onion powders, and the ground mustard seed for a half hour in the fridge. Well mixed, and it's actually smelling quite good. So a lot of that tang from the zebra smell, there's, there's a lot of iron in the zebra blood, actually. And now that seems to have been tempered a little. I can tell just by the, the odor of it. The zebra's not jumping out and <laughs> kicking me. <laughs> so without further ado, let's heat her up gonna heat the skillet, I'm using cast iron, and we're gonna add some grapeseed oil. Once it's hot enough, that is. Any moment now, any moment. And I'm only gonna use about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Let the oil heat up. And by the way, the nice thing with grapeseed oil, it actually has a very high flash point. So you can get it hotter than say your olive oils 
or avocado oil. Let's start throwing in the meat, poco a poco, or little by little. Now zebra, as well as any whore, is a very lean meat. Ain't a lot of fat in there. So this is gonna brown a little quicker than you'd be used to with your, your standard beef. You set me up. <laughs> I'm gonna season with a little salt and pepper now. As the more astute viewers probably noticed, we have not seasoned it yet. So we got a little ways to go. Now look at that, you can serve this to your friends, you can tell them it's beef, they'd never know the difference until they tasted it. It definitely does not taste like beef. It tastes delicious. Well, the way I show you how to cook it, it will taste delicious. But it ain't beef. Daddy, do you think it's beef? What do you think, Lily? Wow! After this, we'll be making our sauce and we'll heat up some corn tortillas. Very important, authentic Mexican. The tortillas are. <laughs> that was corny. <laughs> you know what a corny guy I am, especially when it comes to talking about my eyes. The more I talk, the cornier I get. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, zebra. Too bad they haven't invented the smell-o-vision yet. If you can only smell what this smells like. Emily, Emily's an honest opinion. What do you, you, it smells good, doesn't it? Meat. Just meat? Like cooking meat. Lily, what do you think it smells like? She thinks it smells like meat because she's hanging around. I'm getting tired of hanging around. Look at that. Ain't gonna get leaner meat than that. In the home stretch, we do not want to overcook it. Just make sure it's cooked through. Okay, there's our meat. Push this guy to the back, Jack. Okay, next we've got the meat cooked, seasoned, and prepared, ready to go into our tacos. But what are we missing? The salsa. So we're gonna make our salsa, our tomato salsa. Okay, then there's gonna be a spice mix. I will include in the description below the quantity of each spice and of course what all the spices are. But here, we'll go over them quickly one by one. Garlic powder, ancho chili powder. For heat, cayenne pepper. A little bit of sugar. Some cumin, can't have taco sauce without cumin. Some oregano. And we're gonna put a, a little bit of citrus of lemon juice. Hey, like I said, we're gonna make our salsa now. Put on some heat. Any day now. Start with a wee bit of grapeseed oil. That's all we need, since we're not really frying anything. I've got a 24 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. We don't need that whole thing. I'm gonna use about half of it, about three quarters of a cup. And we're gonna add about a half a cup of vegetable stock. It doesn't have to be vegetable stock. You can even use water if you wanted to. I just hate using water. I always have to use a stock of some kind. It can even be chicken stock or beef stock, if you really want beef in your zebra taco. Okay. zebra stock? Anything's possible. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you do with it, but you can always make it. Let that come to a simmer, and me spices.
It wouldn't be me if I wasn't wearing my food. Oh. And I assure you, all jokes aside, this spice blend is designed to go with the prepared zebra meat so that they gel together nicely. Let that come up to a simmer. It is starting to simmer. I'm gonna add a bit of lemon. Next, we'll heat up our tortillas, just warm up our corn tortillas, and we can start assembling it and have some tacos. Definitely worth the effort. I have no more to say. It's live. Okay, we're ready to assemble our tacos. I toasted the corn tortillas. I'm gonna take a little bit of carne, otherwise known as meat. And I'm gonna take some of our red sauce. Okay, we got the meat, we got our red sauce that we made and some green sauce. I've got some extra sharp cheddar and some pepper jack. That is one chubby taco from the kitchen of the chubby gourmet. And here we go. Mmm. 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 Aside from me making a mess, quite delicious. The key with the zebra meat was preparing it and having it sit with those four spices, those four magical spices in the refrigerator. Hmm. Very good. I don't wanna brag about it, but very good. Not quite authentic, because as far as I know, they don't use zebra meat in tacos in Mexico. I could be wrong, but as far as I know, they do not. But a unique take on a taco came out very nice. Thank you everyone for watching. If you actually do want to be adventurous and try to use ground zebra meat in your tacos, I swear to you, if you follow my instructions exactly as I said to prepare it, it will actually come out quite tasty. So have at it, or you can always just make regular beef tacos. Maybe you just like the red salsa that I put together. It's missing a lot of other ingredients. I kept it simple again, because I wanted the flavors to match up with that unique flavor that you get from the zebra. So keeping that in mind, I hope everyone enjoyed the episode. I hope you learned something, found it entertaining. And until next time, hasta lasagna.